So what does this application do? This application uh, supports uh, a user to explore this data within the DHIS2 uh, and then later it allows them to import this data into the DHIS2. And for start we are looking at temperature, precipitation and humidity data. And then once you import this data into DHIS2 then you can uh, then analyze this data using the DHIS2 analytic features to combine or translate uh, health and climate data uh, to basically generate the meaningful uh, insights that you would want uh, to see out of this data. Uh, and so once you log in to the DHIS2, the first thing you'll definitely see is this dashboard that we've uh, put up for the demo uh, called uh, Climate and Malaria. Uh, and we'll come back to that shortly, but let's go straight to the application. At the home page, you have uh, information about the application, but also about the data source. You can then go into uh, exploring the data. Let's start by exploring data at a given health facility. So if I click on this health facility, as long as it has the geolocation, uh, the geo coordinate, I should be able then to quickly look at the weather forecast. Uh, you can also look at the temperature trends, and this can be daily and monthly. Uh, you can also look at uh, precipitation, uh, and here you can also look at uh, both monthly and daily uh, precipitation. Uh, this tool allows you to zoom in if you want to have a deeper look at some of the, uh, uh, the spikes that you're probably observing. Then uh, humidity is also provided for, and here you can look at uh, both monthly and also uh, daily uh, trends uh, for humidity. And here for humidity, we are looking at relative humidity, uh, the average uh, relative humidity. Uh, then we have the normal uh, uh, that is based on the reference period. We have the dew point temperature and the air temperature. And lastly, uh, we have uh, a provision to be able to look at uh, climate change. And here we're looking at the change right from uh, 1970 uh, up to uh, this current year, 2024. And here you can look at the temperature changes over time. Yeah, so uh, let's go to data import. So for data import, uh, you click on uh, import data and you should be able to then select uh, the parameters that you want to import data for. So if I select temperature, and then I can say I want to import this for just a month. And I'll pick out uh, this province and then I click import. So the process that's happening is that's able to then extract the data and then be able to import the data into the DHIS2. Uh, so it's as simple as that. So I'll go to this facility and I look at uh, pick the form. Uh, I pick a period that we imported data for it was last year in January, uh, so I'll scroll up to January any date. Uh, so there we should be able to see that uh, our temperature, air temperature data has actually uh, been uh, imported uh, into the DHIS2 instance. So after you've imported this data, the next thing, next thing that you would want to do is definitely to analyze your data. And uh, as you can see, uh, we've been able to create um, a dashboard based on data that has been imported uh, and uh, if you look at uh, this first graph uh, it's uh, basically looking at uh, the trends of malaria uh, with relative humidity. We also able to do uh, uh, a map uh, that uh, you can do uh, a layer uh, for humidity and then put um, another layer for uh, the malaria cases and then be able to make sense out of that. We, lastly, we also have uh, uh, what we call a split map uh, that DHIS2 can actually help you uh, come up with a split map uh, that shows uh, uh, different maps for the different months uh, and then be able to look at the trends of uh, humidity or any other climate data for the different months. Uh, so that's really how you are able to analyze this data and a lot is yet to come in terms of uh, analyzing uh, and uh, uh, even modeling and prediction uh, based on this data that we are importing.